The saints are holy people that the church has decided are in the presence of God in heaven because of how they live their lives. Now saints aren't people who were necessarily perfect in all of their actions. However, saints always strived each day to trust God more deeply. In the Bible, God speaks to us about trust. He asks us to trust him with our worries and he tells us not to worry. We're going to practice a way of studying the Bible called Lexio Divina. So I want you with your parents to open up to Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, verse 25. Close your eyes and imagine that you are one of Jesus' disciples, hearing his words. What is Jesus telling you to do? How does what Jesus says make you feel? Let's listen. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more important than they? Can any of you, by worrying, add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wildflowers grow. They do not work or spin, but I tell you that not even King Solomon in all his splendor was clothed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass of the field, which grows today and is thrown in the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you? O oh, you of little faith. So do not worry and say, what are we to eat? Or what are we to drink? Or what are we to wear? Your heavenly father knows you need them all, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. If you've closed your eyes, you can now open them and pause this video to talk about with your parents how Jesus' words made you feel. What is Jesus saying to us in this passage? Pause the video and discuss. Mary was the queen of all saints. She was a model of how to trust God for all humans. Let's read about how Mary was challenged to trust God when she found out that she would be giving birth to Jesus. If you're listening, I'd like you to close your eyes and imagine you're there in this story. No one can see you, but you can see the characters. You can see what's happening. You see an angel appear to Mary, a simple girl in her simple house. How do you feel witnessing this? What are you thinking? Let's listen. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called to barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Mary said, Behold, 
I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. So if you've been listening and closing your eyes, imagining you were in the scene, I want you to take a moment to pause this video and talk to your parents about how you feel about this reading. What happened to Mary? What is Mary challenged to do? How does she have to trust? Mary is called the greatest saint because her trust in God was perfect. Her answer to the angel was, let what God's will is happen to me. And that is a prayer that we try to imitate each day and a prayer that all of the saints try their best to repeat each day for themselves in their own lives. Now think about this question and talk about it with your parents. What can you do to trust God more in your life each day? To finish our study of the Bible today, we close our eyes and remember that we are in the presence of God and we thank God for his scripture and his messages to us in the Bible. I hope that you enjoy the rest of this lesson.